AK Geeks. Hey everybody, welcome to AKA Geeks. This is Real News. I'm your host, Sean. Let's get right into it, you guys. All right, not a big heavy week on news, but let's start off some of the big topics that caught my attention. First off, Jordan Peele. He is the writer, director of the the surprise hit, Get Out. And uh, he, he did such a good job with it. I think the budget was like five million and the thing made over 150 million, broke records. Things have been so great that he's already locked down his next movie with Universal to write and direct. Uh, it's going to be a social thriller, um, so not, not so much in the horror vein, but uh, uh, still a thriller. And uh, I like this. I like this news. What he's proven with Get Out is that he has a knack for this. He has an ability to put something on screen that's going to that's gonna grab people and bring them in and, and it's going to be enjoyable. More often than not, when we can get this type of talent and, and continue to see pushing them, you know, having them, giving them the opportunity to make a movie. And this one's going to have a bigger budget from what I, I have heard and read. Hopefully he gives us more, fla more flavor of what he gave us with Get Out, which is a proven commodity now. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm really happy for the guy. He's really branching out outside of what he did with Jordan, uh, K and Peele. All right, guys, next bit of news. Gears of War live action movie. This was announced back in October. It's been announced now that they have their writer. This is a writer from uh, a couple things that you might have heard of. His name is Shane Salerno. He uh, is most notable for writing Armageddon, uh, that was a, a, a Michael Bay film, Savages, an Oliver Stone film, and he's actually one of the writers on the upcoming four Avatar films, James Cameron films. With Armageddon, he wrote the adaptation of that. Uh, with with Savages, he wrote he helped write the screenplay. He was not the only person on that one. And with Avatar, he's one of many writers. So he's had his hand in some pretty big, um, pretty big IP. But at the same time, he hasn't done anything where he's writing the screenplay and written the script. So I don't know exactly where we stand with uh, the quality or the end game of his work. Um, that will be something we will see in the future. Hopefully, he is a you know he pulls this off and, and gives us something that we're gonna like. This film, Gears of War, is not going to be taking place necessarily off of what the games did. It's going to be taking four new people, a whole new team, and it's going to be putting them in that world. The movie would be a movie in and of itself. You write the screenplay for a sci-fi movie, but then you add in these elements of the world, of the setting of, the, of, of Gears of War, and then you have something that can possibly work without being a piss poor video game movie. So I am excited for this. Um, Gears of War is a franchise I definitely have an affinity for, and I'm looking forward to it. I hope that Shane Salerno can, uh, you know, he can prove to us that he is the guy for the job. I'm really looking forward to this. Also announced this week is that DC's Aquaman film is started production. And with this announcement that it's starting production, they also released a new logo for the film. It looks pretty cool, nice, simple, and, and straight to the point. I like it. I'm happy they're starting production. Now we're going to have some tangible to look at, and it's only a matter of time before we get this film. Last bit of news, you guys, from the Fox Marvel Universe, the X-Men Universe. Uh, we had Logan this year, which was an amazing movie. I loved it to death. I uh, can't wait till it comes out on Blu-ray. But in the meantime, on May 16th, Logan is going to be re-released in theaters in black and white. I'm really looking forward to this. I love the film as it is. I love the color version of it. I think they did a great job with it. It's not oversaturated or anything like that. It's just a nice, smooth film. Everything goes right where it's supposed to be. The, you know, when they're running through the forest, when they have the blood splatter, all that good stuff. Everything works well together. Black and white, though, is also going to be nice, nice little fill into it because of all the, the trailers and the pictures that we got before the movie came out. I'm really interested in seeing it that way. If you are not able to see it in theaters in black and white on May 16th, if they don't have it around you, you can always pick up the Blu-ray. They're going to actually add this to the Blu-ray as well. So you're going to get it in color and in black and white. That's pretty cool news for a movie that I loved, a movie that I very much enjoyed. I'm very happy about this. So I'm looking forward to this movie coming out on May 16th. I'm going to try to make uh, clear my schedule to go see this film. All right, guys, now on to the trailer segment this week. Uh, I think this is the biggest segment that we have this week, the trailer segment. There's three movies that caught my attention. First off, let's start and make, let's start a little small and let's make our way up. First off is The Big Six, starring Kumail Nanjiani. Um, Ray Romano's in there. Holly Hunter's in there, great actress. This is a film about Kumail. Uh, I think he's, his character's actually named Kumail, Kumail as well in the film. Um, he's playing, I think in the, 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 the trailer, it says that he's Palestinian. Um, and so he's playing this character, he, he's an immigrant, he, or, um, and he's dating a white girl. <laughs> and, and so throughout most of the trailer, uh, probably two, 
the first two thirds of the trailer, they're showing his relationship with this girl and how he's trying to react to his family and the expectations put on him from his family and his culture while dating a white girl, a girl that he you can visibly see in the trailer that he loves her, um, but he always keeps her at a distance because of that culture. Uh, so in this they break up in the trailer and at that point it goes into like the third part of the trailer It's like a movie almost really in that third part of the trailer. They Have her get sick and they put her into a medically induced coma and the story goes on from there The trailer does feel like a movie in a sense like I was saying it feels like there's definitely three acts But in the third act they don't necessarily tell you what's gonna happen in the life of these two young individuals so I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. This one is, is um, I think it's being produced by, by uh, Amazon. And so I'm looking forward to this to see if they're gonna put it on Amazon, if I can go catch it on Amazon. I have to, if they put it in theaters, that'd be great. Um, it does look like a nice little um, charming film. And it definitely has my attention already. It's gonna be a nice representation of, of our world that we live in. Um, how we are still expected to have certain uh, culture expectations and uh, family expectations but we still want to follow our heart. It's it's interesting. I am definitely looking forward to this one. I, I definitely like what they've shown me so far. The second film that caught my attention is a horror movie. Um, it's being uh, produced uh, and distributed by A24. This one is called It Comes at Night. It's starring Joel Edgerton. Um, and it's kind of a horror film with an apocalyptic, like, um, disease apocalypse kind of feel to it and it, it's really interesting uh, he has a house he's willing to help people but in this house he has rules because something's out there and they don't really tell you how it is whatever it is got out there or what's going on he's still trying to figure it out as well and so it's definitely this trailer it teases you even though it's a full-length trailer it teases you and gives you some stuff and it shows you some action and some some stuff bad stuff happening you're like oh I know that's bad and, but it doesn't tell you everything, so I like it. They did a good job with this trailer to get me interested, to pull me in. Joel Edgerton's an amazing actor, so the fact that he's carrying this movie, that he's the star of this film, I'm happy with that. I've been a fan of him since I've seen him in Warrior, and uh, I'm, I'm just a big fan of him. He's a, good, he's a good actor. He always puts down some quality work, and so I'm looking forward to this film. Even though it's a horror film, I'm gonna dive into this one. I'm really, this one's really caught my attention. I'm sorry, there's uh, four trailers this week, and the two, <laughs> there's two, uh, two big trailers that caught my attention. One is for Netflix, and I know this one's more of a series, not a movie, but it's Netflix, so I sometimes talk about that on here. So this one is Defenders. Um, I definitely like the trailer for Defenders. We posted, uh, Lynn was able to post something when it came out on our, our, our Facebook page, so if you want a link, go check us out there. But I definitely like the trailer. I like what they're doing with them. I like how uh, Daredevil, um, he comes in and he's like helping Jessica Jones and I like that. I like that the way that their meeting is kind of natural. Then I like what Rosario Dawson's character does to introduce Luke Cage and, and Iron Fist. Um, I'm hoping, I'm really, really, really hoping uh, that they do something to not retcon per se, but make the Iron Fist character better because uh, I was, I got, I watched the entire series, but I got a little tired of watching him whine and bitch and moan like a little baby. The whole series. I, I would understand if you're naive to how the Western world works, I understand that. But you've been without your parents now for 15 years, and, and all you do is whine and moan and sound like a little kid. It's not like he was stuck in a time capsule, right? It's not like he went in a time capsule at 10 years old and then came out at uh, 25 or whatever and then there was nothing that happened in between. So I got tired of seeing him whine, bitch, and moan and, and act so irrationally. So I want them to hopefully rehabilitate the character, make him more level-headed because when I think of these characters coming together, I don't see his character act like that and but in the show they made him act like that so I hope that they do something to rehabilitate that character something to, to slightly just change him a little bit so it's like he's growing up that he's been here long enough now that he doesn't have to act so stupid I like Luke Cage as a character I liked the first half of the show up until they killed Marshal Ali's character then I thought the show after that kind of went down um, I thought the whole Copperhead thing was dumb and I thought the the cousin being the big antagonist was stupid as well. She was a weak antagonist. Mashallah Ali was a way stronger a actor as well as um, antagonist. Jessica Jones is still going on with her angsty Daria impression. Um, I still like that. Uh, I, I do think that she's gone through something 
in her mind, if you watch her show, that it's going to be very hard to get over in the, the course of her life because she was an adult when it happened. She watched it happen. She watched herself do it and she had almost no control over it. And uh, I think that that's something that's going to be there for quite a while. So I'm okay with her being angsty. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Luke Cage being Luke Cage. I just hope they don't fall into those mistakes. And Daredevil. Um, I am still fine with everything that Daredevil has done so far. I, I think that's the strongest series um, because they've done two really strong seasons. Jessica Jones is right there with it though. Um, that's what I really think that this this show, Defenders, needs to carry needs to carry the show. Is they need some good performances by Charlie Cox, by Kristen Stewart, uh, Mike Coulter, and Finn, whatever his name is. They really need Finn to step his game up. Uh, it comes from Game of Thrones fame. He should be doing better. I, I have high hopes for this series. I'm really interested to see what Sigourney Weaver's character is. Is she the actual head of hand? Because I thought it was Madame Gao at the, you know, when, when everything was going on with Iron Fist, it almost seemed like it was Madame Gao. It, it, things have been changing, it seems, that um, they're always throwing you a curveball. Still wonder who the head of hand is. I wonder if it's Sigourney Weaver. Sam Elliott's back from Roadhouse fame. <laughs> I, I just really look forward to this series and I, I'm going to jump off my diatribe now because um, I didn't mean to go that long. Last trailer that caught my attention is The Dark Tower. Everybody has been waiting for this one forever and ever, apparently. Um, not myself though, I did not read the books, I have not read the books. I don't know if I'll ever read the books. This trailer uh, feels a little weird for being based on Stephen King books. Um, Stephen King books are usually thriller horror based. Uh, for the most part as far as I know. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Let me know uh, what other types of books he writes. Uh, but everything I've ever seen from Stephen King has always had a suspense, thriller, horror feel to it. This one does not feel that way. This one feels like it's an action-adventure film. And it definitely doesn't have... It has, it has a look to it that's very, 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 like, super clean Avengers type, like, trying to hit that point. And... I don't know if that fits the Stephen King name when you put it based on the story by Stephen King. So I don't know if that fits. Um, so I, I mean, I don't know. I haven't read the book. You guys tell me. Is that does this trailer match what the book feels like? I don't know. I heard it's. I think it's a three three books, a uh, one story. Um, so I imagine there's going to be more movies. But because I haven't read the books, I'm watching the trailer and I wasn't impressed that much. I was like, okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Everybody else loves this. And I'm probably going to be the odd man out that thinks it's just all right. But let me know what you guys think. Please tell me more about the Stephen King books. Stephen King, how it re how his books uh, relate to this movie, this trailer. Let me know. I definitely like to hear. All right, guys. Now on to the in theater segment this week. This week in theaters, there's only one film that uh, has caught my attention. It is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I was able to see the film already. And I got to say, I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy. Um, I can't, I don't want to give you guys too much because we're going to be doing a spoiler review on Tuesday, but I, I liked it. I thought it was different than the first one, very different. I felt that as big as this movie is, James Gunn was still able to keep the movie on a personal level with all these characters, and there was, he was still able, and, and damn, he's a good freaking director, because he was still able to, even with all these characters, create character arcs that interwove with other people, and they still, uh, the movie benefited from it greatly. So I, I had a great time with this film. I had a lot of fun with it. People are gonna say it's not as good as the first one. I probably will agree with that, because the first one's the first one. I mean, uh, it's going to be hard to top Avengers with any other Avengers films, regardless of what the quality of the film is. Um, in all the series right now, Captain America's gotten better, but that's not normal. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with what this film gave us. You guys should go check it out. It's in theaters right now. Uh, enjoy the music. Go, I think the soundtrack's out there right now for like eight, nine bucks at Walmart or Target. But I uh, really enjoyed the film. Uh, you guys should go check it out. That's what's in theaters this week. Alright guys, so that's it for real news this week. Remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section. Let's have a great conversation about all the topics I discussed today. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. AK Geeks.